Today I want to build a crazy math equation. Let's start with a product notation. Ah yes, the fun cousin of the summation. If you aren't too familiar with this intimidating creature, let me give you a quick breakdown. Product, as the name suggests, is a shorthand way of writing repeated sequences of multiplication. So for example, this means this. This is the main term, the function of the formula. This shows you how many times it gets multiplied. And this is the starting index. If, for example, this is 3, then this is how many times we multiply our term. We could also do something like this, which means all of these terms will proceed in sequence, like so. And when multiplied together, all of this becomes a rather big number. But whatever the number this is, it can't be as big as whatever we get when we make the top limit infinity. That's right, we would have to multiply this an infinite amount of times. Amazing, I know, I wonder what the result could possibly be. A more interesting situation occurs when we have numbers less than 1, like so. As we increase the upper bound, our fraction becomes ever so smaller. Taking it to infinity, the limit becomes 0. But the really interesting situation occurs when we have infinite terms that converge into some specific number, like so. In this case, it's this irrational here. Just think about it for a moment. Multiplying together an infinity of certain numbers will give you some regular finite outcome which I personally think is really cool. Now check this out. If you switch this to a minus, the result will be 2, an actual whole integer. We can also have something like this, which gives us pi over 2. I myself like this particular design. And when we change those into 2s, we get a really interesting result. Now this is a creation you can do something with. So let's flip this to the other side, like so. And the result becomes 1, which is the quantity I prefer to use for these projects. Now I do like this thing, but I just don't think it's intimidating enough. Okay then, let's see what we can do. Square root is a fun little number. Guess what? We can replace it with another product formula. Much better. This is looking more intimidating already. We can put those two together and get something like this. But now I just think that the denominator is a little small, so let's mess with this pi over here. How about this? Ah yes, integration with infinite limits. A weird hyperbolic trig function. Lots of fun. Let's arrange those so they look a little bit better. And here we are, a fantastic evil looking critter. And if you want to be fancy, you can always put a minus somewhere here and make that into Euler's identity. Fantastic! But wait, notice this boring 2 over here. Remember we already seen a product that results in a 2. That's right, this thing. We can shove that thing in there instead of the 2. Better yet, over here. And look, those two are identical. Which means we can just shove this in there, because after all, we are just multiplying those two. Which also means we can reduce this whole thing into this. And here we are. What a nice looking fantastic monster of an equation. With a few small adjustments, you can also make the thing result in pi. I also like to play around with AI graphics. And I created this computer image, featuring that equation. Ah, it's been a while since I did something like this. I used to post them on Instagram. I think it's about time I do that again. I really like the way they look. I think this could make a fun poster. Hope you enjoyed this creation. Like, subscribe, check out my other stuff, and I wish all of you a great day.